It is our privilege now to welcome in a BYU record breaker. She is Kaylee Faulkner, and she pole vaults better than most. Kaylee, welcome to BYU Sports Nation. Thank you. It's awesome to be here. Now, a second ago, you told us that you rode your scooter <laughs> to come and participate in this interview. Mind yes. you, it's freezing outside, and there's snow and ice on the ground. So can you walk us through how you managed to ride a scooter through those conditions? Um, yeah, you know, it is pretty icy out, so <laughs> it's pretty slippery. Actually, I don't know if I want my coach to know I did this. <laughs> you, you probably don't. But <laughs> let's keep it on the down low. Nobody's but... watching. Nobody's okay, watching. Okay, good. Listen, you're living on the edge because yes. you're a pole vaulter. Yeah. And uh, riding your scooter over here on the ice <laughs> or, uh, or leaping uh, 14 and a half feet up into the air. Uh, that makes you one of the most fascinating student athletes on campus. Why do you do that? You know, I just, I love the adrenaline, riding scooters on ice, you know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, it's just the type of person I am, I guess. <laughs> yeah, clearly, you have no fear. Uh, we've we've <laughs> adequately determined this. <laughs> but you do it at such a high level, speaking of the pole vault. And I, I love to discuss, like, the history of athletes in unique sports because everyone's got kind of a unique story of how they got into pole vault. So for you... When did it begin, and why did you even attempt it at first? Yeah, so I did track and field kind of all throughout high school. And when I started my freshman year, I did high jump, and I thought that was fun. And then I did long jump my sophomore year, and that was cool too. But I always thought that pole vault just looked really fun. <laughs> and that was like the only thing that my mom was like, oh, maybe you shouldn't do that. <laughs> but I was like, mom, it looks crazy. Like, why not? Isn't it always so. a parent? Like, if your parent tells you not to do it, and yeah. then, like, then now, no, I'm gonna, I'm, now I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm of gonna. course. <laughs> so take us through a, a, a pole vaulting experience. From the minute you've got the, you've got the pole and you take off, what, what's going through your mind as you're about to make a, a leap that, uh, that's going to qualify you for nationals? Yeah, so I was, I mean, my last jump, at the last meet, I was pretty nervous. I had some anxiety. So I was at the end of the runway, kind of just reminding myself of my cues and like taking some deep breaths, encouraging myself, being like, okay, you can do it. Just, just <laughs> run and do it, you know? Um, but yeah, and then I just started running, did my plant, did my swing, and went over the bar. I was really relieved. <laughs> is there time up there for you to look at the bar and kind of see where you're at? And, you know, I'm going into the bar, I'm going over the bar. Yeah. What's going on up there? Um, so when I'm up there, I think what you want, you never really want to be looking at the bar as you're going up. So I think, like, after I got over it, I did brush the bar a tiny bit. And so it was bouncing a little bit as I was falling. And so... That, you know, that made me nervous, but I could see it wobbling as I was falling onto the pit, so. Wow. Kaylee Faulkner is yeah. with us on BYU Sports Nation. You cleared, and we're going to get the numbers right here, 4.40 meters or 14.525 feet to win the event. You break your own school record. And I kind of want to go back to what Dave was talking about, like the mentality. But specifically, what are your mental and visual cues from the time you start down the path to the time you land on the mat. Okay, yeah. Um, so when I'm standing at the end of the runway, I like to think big plant, big bottom arm, big swing, pop off the top. That's kind of what I tell myself. And if I remember those things, usually I'll be able to have a pretty good vault. But yeah, I say those things to myself as I'm at the end of the runway. And then right before I go, I just like to give myself a little bit of encouragement and just tell myself I can do it, and then it makes me relax a little bit, and I can go. What's the feeling after you clear the bar and you're about to land down below on your back, having done it? Yeah, it's just, honestly, like, I don't, for me at least, I don't really think anything can compare to it. It's just, like, complete relief yeah. and, like, satisfaction almost, just, like, when you're able to have a vault that you feel really good about and that you can get upside down in and just like finesse the pole almost. Like it's just, I've never felt anything like it, but 
it feels awesome. It's like mm -hmm. that Tom Petty song, Free Falling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once you clear the bar, then you're just like, ah, I'm done. Into the mat. I'm, I'm just glad we had a Tom Petty reference on the show today. Yeah, <laughs> it's been, it's been a great that. show. Go look up Tom Petty. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not familiar with that song, we'll go look. Well, I know that song. Okay, you know. Okay, yeah. that's fantastic. Because he's the free fall. You've been cultured. Yes, okay? yes. I worry My about some of the well. other and younger generation. <laughs> Eighth best vault nationally, and uh, I'm going to read this verbatim. You are the first female back-to-back -back conference champion in BYU women's track and field program history. Yes. So you've accomplished a lot already. What's next on your progression chart, and what goal are you chasing now? Um, well, I guess I'm hoping to get more consistent with my jumps. And so, obviously, Nationals is up next, and, you know, I want to do good there, and I want to feel good about my performance. And whether that's just having good form when I'm jumping or remembering my cues, um... I'm just, you know, I want to do good there and feel good about it, so. As a freshman All-American, right? Mm -hmm. Took 14th last year. Mm -hmm. uh, so, of course, the goal is to finish first <laughs> as you're done, as you, as you make that climb. But what a fantastic start as a freshman. Yeah. There's only a couple more spots left on your list before you go, I want to be the national champion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think last year it was so amazing to get to go especially as a freshman I didn't expect to be able to do that my first year but you know I definitely wanted a little bit more out of that meet and so I feel like this time I have the opportunity to achieve that and to you know do what I came here to do we were looking at um, the Olympic record before you came in oh. uh, which is two feet I think uh, higher mm -hmm. from, from your current spot so as you progress, when do you decide, okay, we're going up three more inches, we're going to go up another, how, how does that work, uh, you know, to, to getting better in a, in a thing like the pole vault? Um, I think as far as deciding the bar progression, it's just kind of talking with my coaches and my teammates too. I have amazing teammates who help me look at film and, you know, we all help each other. And so I think that's a really cool thing about our team. But it's just kind of seeing how high you are over the last bar, what bar you want to make, what you're going for, and like also what your step is, how far you're penetrating, what your grip on your pole is. There's a lot of different variables that go into it. Yeah. So It's a science. It, it really is a fascinating sport. And to be clear for those watching on BYU Sports Nation, if you finish top eight, you're a first team All-American. Mm -hmm. And that is track wide. So like just getting to the final heat, if you will, yeah. or being in the top eight, that gives you first team status. Um, I, I, we need to ask because we, we read your bio and <laughs> we, we've learned that you love tamales. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So naturally we wanna know, is, is that like your go-to day of the meat meal? Oh, definitely not. <laughs> we also debated whether it was hot tamales or tamales tamales. Um, definitely real tamales. Okay. Um, I think I wasn't taking my track bio super seriously at the time of filling it out. So I just, I do love tamales. Okay. And there's actually a lady around my apartment complex and she'll come like every other week and sell tamales. I love it when that happens. <laughs> nice, yeah, that's great. <laughs> but, you know, I guess I'm just a tamale girl. I don't know. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Zero wrong. Zero <laughs> wrong. Shout out to uh, Kaylee Faulkner <laughs> and shout out to her tamale lady. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, wh whatever's working, it's, it's working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Congratulations on everything you've accomplished. Um, here's how this works. You visit us on the show. We give you BYU Sports Nation karma. It allows you to compete at an even higher level, quite literally. In this and instance, figuratively, <laughs> literally and figuratively. Higher level. So now you got the BYU Sports Nation karma. We can't wait to see what you do, uh, your next opportunity. Good luck. Well, thank you so much. It was awesome being here. Best of luck at Nationals. Thank you.